There is a thing that a lot of app developers do that I do not understand and I want them to stop. It's to do with how app developers use declaration files in TypeScript. I'm going to show you what they do and why the TypeScript team themselves absolutely hate it. If you don't know, in TypeScript there are two ways that you can declare your types. You can either put them in a .ts file or a .d.ts file. A .d.ts file is what's called a declaration file and a .ts or a .tsx file is just what we'd call a normal module. Let's say that we're inside a project here where we've got my code here, which is just a function that takes in an input of my code input. We've got some runtime code here and we've got some type code here. So you might think it's kind of normal just to separate the two. We can take our type here, create a new file called types.ts, export it, and then re-import it in index.ts. You notice I'm using a .ts file for the types here. That's because types is just another module like any other module. But this is where so many developers go wrong. Instead of making a .ts file, they'll often make a .d.ts file. And this on the surface looks like it behaves exactly the same. We can still import and export. In fact, it even looks like we can add runtime code to this too. That's great. So it looks like on the surface, the .d.ts file is behaving just like a normal module, but it's not. .d.ts files are not supposed to be used for this purpose. Let me show you exactly why they're so bad. First, let's take a look at the TS config file. We've got an option here called skip libcheck true, which is one that I recommend you turn on. And this skips time type checking on all .d.ts files. If we disable skip libcheck true, then we'll actually start to see the errors inside .d.ts. And we're seeing here that we can't add runtime features into this space. Even if we add something relatively TypeScript native, like an enum, it's still going to yell at us. So this means that the only thing that can be in .d.ts files are types. So what are declaration files actually used for? They can't contain runtime features. They can only contain types. What's the point of them? Well, TypeScript uses them alongside JavaScript files to understand and type those JavaScript files. I've just installed a package called xState and inside node modules you can see that here xState inside lib has all of the JS files but all of the .d.ts files just next to them. This means on one side we've got the actual JavaScript and on the other side we've got the TypeScript that describes it. If we were to put these in just normal .ts files, it wouldn't work. They have to be .d.ts files. And by the way, this is why we have skip libcheck true, is that we don't want to spend time actually checking all of the types in these node modules. And side note, that's actually my number one TypeScript performance tip is turning on skip libcheck true. Declaration files also have some really surprising behavior that you might not be aware of. If I declare like a maybe type here, which is going to be null or undefined, then this actually ends up being available in all other files in my project. It puts things into the global scope. So I can say type example equals maybe, and that maybe is coming from my types.d.ts file. This is what d.ts files are for, putting things into the global scope, making global alterations to interfaces. They're not modules. They're not for putting your types in. In fact, the TypeScript team has specifically written about this, and I'll link it in the description below. I asked on Twitter if people do this, and about 40% of all the developers who replied, which was nearly 10 thousand devs said, yes, this is what I do. And honestly, I, I cannot believe that because I just don't understand why you wouldn't put your types in a normal module like everything else. If you do want to do global alterations to scope, then by all means use a .d.ts files, but don't use them for your regular modules. I'll have another video you can watch just here and a little face that you can subscribe to here. I've been Matt Pocock. You should check out totaltypescript.com, which is where I put all of my TypeScript learnings, all the stuff I've been researching and finding out. And I put them in articles, in tips and free tutorials as well. You can also buy my course if you want to use up your education budget on something. And I will see you very soon.